The newly approved plan won't move mountains, but it does call for the removal of this 70 plus year old bridge and dam. The state says it is the best way to restore Capitol Lake to its cleaner, natural state. We know that conditions are just getting worse and it's time to act. Carrie Martin has worked for the state for more than 30 years. This lake has been causing the state problems for a lot longer. We have sediment built up that hasn't been dredged since the 80s. Um, we have invasive plant and animal species that have limited our ability to be out on the lake and to have recreation. This is the community's waterfront and the goal is to restore it. Project manager Tessa Gardner-Brown is heading up plans to restore this 260 acre area to what it was supposed to be, a reflecting pond for the Capitol campus built along the Deschutes River at the southern tip of Puget Sound. In the 1980s, a dam created a freshwater lake and for decades people swam and boated here. But in the 1980s, high bacterial levels and invasive species took over. The discovery of New Zealand mud snails closed the lake to the public in 2009. Now, after decades of studies and research, the state has agreed to remove the dam, allowing for natural tidal flows. The plan also authorizes the removal of enough sediment to fill 750 Olympic swimming pools, making the area open to swimming and boating again. It would create a diverse shoreline environment, diverse in ecology, diverse in um, visual perspective, uh, introduce new boardwalks for community use, and then also manage the sediment that moves downstream once that dam is removed. The restoration work could take until 2035, with a price tag estimated around $200 million. But Kerry Martin, who is now working on finding the funding, says this is the most cost effective option. The environmental conditions will just keep getting worse and the longer we wait, the costs to make the improvements will keep escalating. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.